Hey guys, this is Tim, back in with another video. This is gonna be a super quick one. Um, I was watching the uh, SIGGRAPH presentation by Fiana on the new copy to points uh, node, uh, which is gonna be apparently in Houdini 18, which seems uh, super useful and it's gonna have a um, have an attribute uh, for uh, variants uh, of like, which what do you wanna copy on it? Which is something that like ha Houdini has been lacking since like forever and I think it's very great that they're adding something in it to do that. Um, and she also showed the way that currently it done. It's uh, it's done a lot of times. Um, so that's with the uh, for each, and then a switch, uh, and then you can uh, like reference to the uh, to the metadata import here, uh, which is what I did here. And then you can like randomize uh, what's being copied on it. Um, so that works. But it's not super fast. Um, you cannot really throw it in a compile block because it's not really supported by the compile block. Um, so I want to show another way to do it right now until Houdini 18 is out. So after Houdini 18 is out, this work for probably changes. So if you're watching this in a year or something, then just use the new one. Um, anyway, so. This is going to be the same technique as I did in my offsetting time instances video uh, with a little bit of changed fax code because I learned a new function which I didn't know existed. Um, so let's go in here. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm setting an instance path and basically what I'm doing here is I'm making an integer r and I'm setting it between the minimum of uh, 1 and 4. So I just make slider. So I want uh, to call on variants one to four. Uh, and then I am setting instance path and I'm using this function, which I didn't know existed before, but now I do. So this is super useful. So what it does is you can set a string and then replace a part of the string with an attribute. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm referencing it with uh, OP. Uh, so it's basically short for opdef. And that, that will reference something inside of Houdini. So I'm referencing, uh, referencing something in this network uh, called var underscore and then a, uh, a number, which is this number. So here I have my variants. So it's a pig, it's a squab um, and other stuff. And then I'm writing that to an attribute and that attribute is going to be instance path. So if you go watch the instance path, now it'll be one, two, four. And then you can use the instance path to instance. And then you basically get the same. Well, the, the random function is a little bit different here. So the randomization happens a little bit differently, but apart from that, it's uh, somewhat the same, um, but it's a lot faster. So let me show you if I change thread resolution. You can see this is like very well multi-threaded. Uh, so I can really crank this up if I want and it'll stay relatively quick while if I do that in here it's, uh, you can see it's set to uh, let's turn that off um, if I do that in here it's gonna be a lot slower All right so now let's give this a go at like super crazy high uh, resolution so 300 by 300 and let's do a performance monitor on the uh, copy stamping or not stamping the uh, referencing to the detail attribute this takes uh, quite a long time I tried this already so uh, you can see this is uh, running up quite uh, quite quickly And well, in this case, it took 26 seconds. Normally, it was a little bit faster, but I'm recording now as well, so that probably uh, eats up at it a little bit. Okay, now let's clear this and let's try this one. And that was almost instant, like half a second. So you can see this is like literally so much faster. Um, so, yeah, let's put this down uh, again. There you go. 
So when it comes to like other attributes, like I uh, disabled the uh, N attribute for now, you can just use uh, attributes randomly um, like you would with a, uh, with a copy. So let's attribute randomize. It's, uh, as you can see, it picks up on color. Let's do another attribute randomize. Uh, picks up on normals. Let's do uh, P scale. Picks up on P scale. Um, I think it just works with uh, generic attributes like the copy would. Um, let's. Uh, it bothers me that the thing is red. Anyway, um, so yeah, it basically sort of works like a uh, like a copy to points. Uh, there might be some like differences which you might run into, but uh, for a lot of stuff like this, is uh, this is quite a nice way of instancing. And with these sliders, uh, makes it all uh, pretty easy to just like randomize uh, randomize stuff. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, it was interesting. Uh, of course, if you're a Patreon supporter, you have access to this file, just go to uh, patreon.com slash and you can download it. Uh, and before we leave, I wanna give a big shout out to all of my Patreon uh, supporters, especially Chris Berg for being a top Patreon. And uh, well, I will talk to you next time. Bye.